Good morning from Hamner Springs. Well, I've just had a really delicious big breakfast at the Powerhouse Cafe. Highly recommend. Oh my goodness, that place is amazing. And I'm headed into the Molesworth, which is my next sort of big challenging off-road ride on the Sounds to Sounds route. Uh, doing this Sounds to Sounds thing in reverse, the first um, challenge that I had was the Nevis Valley and then the Omarima Saddle, and the Molesworth is next. <laughs> uh, and to get into the Molesworth, I've got to do a really challenging climb, um, which most people doing it north to south just have as a really steep, sharp downhill at the end of their ride. And there's two options, two passes, Jack's Pass and Jolly's Pass. And the Sounds to Sounds route goes over Jolly's, which, yeah, doing it the direction most people do it from north to south, it's kind of just a very steep, challenging downhill at the end of their, their time on the Molesworth. Um, for me, it's gonna be a very steep, <laughs> challenging uphill not sure if I'm going to be able to stay on the bike. Uh, and a bunch of people have said that I should just go take Jack's pass, which I thought about. And it's also steep um, and a bit longer, not as steep as Jolly's and not as rough. It's a more um, well-maintained gravel road, whereas Jolly's is a off-road four-wheel drive um, rough track. So, uh, for whatever reason, I've decided I want to give myself the challenge of Jolly's Pass this morning. So, that's what I'm about to do. Uh, and it looks like it's going to be a steep one. <laughs> Let me share the little bike computer image with you. So, that's what I've got ahead of me. <laughs> All right. Onward, here we go. Well, I made it up Jolly's Pass. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I did that. That was really, that was challenging, but to be honest, it's not as challenging as some of the other climbs I'd had to do before this on the Nevis and Omarima. So, I think they prepared me for this. <laughs> oh, but that felt good. Um, I didn't get off the bike at all this time, which, yeah, which was awesome. So, phew, I think that's going to be my toughest or at least steepest climb. I'm not sure. I've heard a couple of the other passes here are tough, um, but probably not as long. So, all right, onward. <laughs> Yay. This is the Molesworth, beautiful Alitari Valley. So beautiful. Well, I've made it to the Atron house. I don't know if I'm saying that right. It's a campsite and this old accommodation house that is the last one remaining on this route. It was used in the late 1800s and early 1900s by people who were traveling um, between Top House and Hamner. So it's pretty cool. It's beautiful. It's right next to the river. This is the inside of the accommodation house, which is so cool. It's a cob house, so it's a mixture of clay, straw or grass, and animal dung. <laughs> it's incredible that they preserved this. I just climbed up from the Atron house, and what a view. Oh, what 
a beautiful area. Just coming over the Severn River. desert-like out here. It's not. I mean, I don't think it is. There's a river, but wow. Well, I've just crossed the boundary from Molesworth Station to Muller Station. It's crazy. You can hear the power lines. Right, Molesworth Station again, and the beginning of my next big climb <laughs> where that little car is going up Ward's Pass. <laughs> All right, here we go. Woo! That was a tough one. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was one of those climbs that made me appreciate how much fitter I've gotten over the course of this ride because I don't know how many K's that was a couple K's maybe three and most of it was over 10% gradient like just between 10 and 15 and when it went back down to 10 it would feel like a respite and I don't know how but I stayed on the bike oh that feels Really good to have done. This is the highest point on the Molesworth ride. And yeah, so it's not all downhill from here because there's lots of little saddles to come. But whew, that was a good climb. <laughs> oh, I'll show the view. Here's, here's where I'm headed. Oh my gosh. Oh, beautiful. So dry be a fun downhill. All right, onward. Well, I made it to my resting spot for tonight and I'm feeling really, really good. That was a massive day. I did 122, 123 Ks and like 2,150 meters of climbing, which is definitely my biggest climbing day yet. Um, so that feels really, really good to have done. And I feel really proud of some of the, the climbs I did over jollies and up board pass without having to take a break and so yeah and tonight I get to stay at a wonderful farm where they've opened up their shears quarters to cyclists who come through the Molesworth and um and it's just a beautiful spot so I'm really really grateful phew yeah all right well I'm gonna go get a shower and eat and rest up and share more later <laughs> thanks for watching <laughs> bye